Hello Pisces, it is time for your reading for June of this current year, which is 2019. <clears throat> it's a Thunderdome reading for you and the person you are dealing with, cross watchers alike, accordingly so. This is for also Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Because it is just a card game. Do not kill the messenger. I am only here to tell you things you wouldn't want me to tell anybody else, probably. And then some. Or maybe you're here about snacks. I can never tell. But snacks are cool, too. There's this. Ah, yeah. Group one, you might be avoiding the tower. Hmm. Uh, your wants and wishes. Hmm. Might be someone who's a bit of a sneaky snake. Has a lot of shit to say. Like, they don't really say anything good. At least nothing as good as what you think it should be. Eight of wands in the fears and rejection. Swiftness, movement, changes. Princess of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in this situation. Obstacles and challenges coming against you is a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. She is demanding. She is nettled. She is like letting her negative energy go up to this Princess of Wands who is like being really impulsive and just saying some pretty Jake shit. It's really Jake. Three, uh, no, what? Okay, this is the Empress. That's why I read it weird. But yeah, the Empress Reverse. Someone is quite like, hmm. Queen of Pentacles might be looking at this person as out of balance too with themselves. Okay, the moon. This is your card as well as Cancer's card, Pisces. And it's like, this is the moon. There are illusions and secrets in this. Hopefully, we will, we will, hopefully. We will reveal some as soon as I learn how to speak English again. Because apparently I cannot. Okay. Group one. You guys are avoiding the tower. Why do you avoid disaster? Why are we avoiding disaster, group one? Ah, because it's like something will drag you very, very much down and just keep you stuck in this burden energy. It's like you're avoiding the tower, but now it's got you like stuck. It's just like, oh crap, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> um, then we have the Princess of Sword here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in the situation. Someone snooping, looking for information, trying to seek out something, right? Because like their anxiety is on a go. Their anxiety is like past the 10. It's like at an 11 and a half. Or whatever. Whatever is panic mode to you. It's a little bit beyond that. It's full scale on like, you know, the cat's been dead in the bed for like five days. I should probably move it, but man, I have just so much shit on my mind. You know? Like. Like. Okay, like someone just was not. Someone just was not happy with um, someone else's emotional fulfillment right here. Like, look at this emperor just mean mugging this person. Like, they think that they should be under their wand right here. But in reality, this person just got their back to them. Just being like, I'm having a great old time. And they're just like this Grinch or whatever. Just looking over with this big old head. Like, how dare they have happy times without my permission <laughs> so then we got this king of pentacles right here three of wands and the no four of wands and then the three of pentacles reverse and it's like this person just this guy just decided you know like i'm not investing in this household anymore and like everything just stopped working as soon as he did that that's just what it's, it's like someone withdrew themselves from providing because it, it's kind of like they knew what was up Almost, right? Princess of Wands. 
I think that's the anxiety right there. Like, someone knows that, like, something was up, and then, like, the other person's just sitting here like, oh, shit. You know? But Princess of Wands. Someone's being impulsive, sneak stirred, just kind of like the Princess of, um... Swords down here, but very impulsive with their actions. They're trying to manifest something. I don't know what it is. They're trying to um, use their skills to do whatever. Like, they're definitely dipping their fingers and toes into things that I don't know with their impulsivity would be good for them. They're trying to master things. They're trying to... Um, look over at this eight of wands to get some shit to happen but there's a fear behind it and i don't know what it is they're trying to experiment with but it's like it's almost the gesture of like they're in a hurry for this to happen like you know it's almost like they're trying to like cast a spell or some shit if you're ever thinking it that way i just put something right in there and it's just kind of like hmm but Queen of Pentacles down here in the obstacles and challenges going against you, Group 1. Um, very demanding energy, very uh, manipulating energy. It's like it's like she's influenced this Princess of Wands to go into magician mode to try to create something. So it takes action here. Because that's what it looks like to me on the board. Um... The obstacle with this woman is to get her to open up emotionally, I feel like, with her options and what, how she feels. Um, seven of Cups right here. It's obvious that there's stuff underneath going on, but it's like she's blank-faced. And the stuff that she has going on is like almost manipulating this person up here to almost... Not think or act out of character and go to this level of like doing magician shit. But it's like they're being impulsive. They're not paying attention to what they're doing. They're not, they're just winging it, you know. They, and they'll make something happen. The magician's upright. Whatever it is they're manifesting, yeah, like the shadows are around them too. Which I also think is dangerous. Like he's the only person with light on him and he's surrounded by shadow people. So it's kind of like, what are you creating? And why is it attracting people who are in shadows? Um, the Eight of Wands over here. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, that's tradition. Like, he's afraid that this act, if this actually be taken, he doesn't know how he's gonna get himself out of it. Like, yeah, he's looking at this like, okay, this scenario over here is the last thing I want to happen. But it seems like he's being influenced by this Queen of Pentacles down here who's like, not really, it, it's like, her not opening up is causing this vibration for someone to act, I don't know, just act off, I guess. Oh dear, um, this person, the Empress, right, she's reversed and it's like, it's like fraud, you know? Like, it's almost like, it's, it, I mean, if it was like the divine shit that I do, whenever I do it, um, it's like, the Empress Reverse is like the karmic pretending to be somebody who they are not. They, they like to pretend that they are actually the divine feminine, not realizing that they are not, and it's like fraud. Like, it, like, judgment did not go in their favor. This could be somebody who is a mother figure. Someone who is mother-like. Someone who is a mom. Um, could be an Aries or a Taurus. We also got Libra here as well with their card. But I'm not sure, like... I'm not sure how the Justice card is saying that, like, what happened with her is bad karma or what she's doing is bad karma. Because it's like, this is like almost like a false person. You know? Yeah. Like, um. Something that'll whack. 
something isn't something isn't right something isn't melding <clears throat> oh the hierophant has the ending theme commitment is an illusion Ooh. there are still things unknown about these secrets of yours group one this one's kind of tripping me up because it's just kind of like, you know. It really feels like this is something to do with the bad judgment call. It's like someone's administering bad karma onto this Empress Reverse person. Who is currently out of their element, you know. Like, I don't know why. I just feel like this magician is probably not, should not be, it's like, if they're worried about this, maybe they shouldn't be doing this, you know? But, oh well. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles right here. Someone needs to have an offer either given to them or they need to give one. It's slowly but surely moving in. Something from the past, too. Yeah. Could have been there yesterday. From last year, you know? That kind of slow. Taken forever. Then we have someone's been keeping their guard up about all of this with this Queen of Pentacles and this Princess of Wands and all of this manipulation and all of this, like, just not revealing emotions. Like, someone's had their guard up about it for a really long time. And, like, there's the Knight of Pentacles just riding away, like, like I'm gonna get there eventually. I only got one speed. And it's go. <laughs> or deliver. That's my speed. It's deliver. They didn't tell me a time I had to deliver it. <laughs> oh, okay. So two cards. It seems like the tower will come down with lack of clarity. You know. Um, interesting. The tower's gonna come down because someone... It's like the last... It's like someone not knowing something... Is what's keeping the tower, you know, crashing down. Like, the person is probably the weaker of the two. Maybe. I don't know. It all depends, really. They haven't hit reality yet, but the other one has. The one in power has already figured it out. The other one, who is not, is about to. That's because they don't get it or something, right? Now on the group two. Two seconds. Okay, group two, it's your turn. You want to open up about, like, the door being closed or whatever, or some shit? Could be Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio, but it's just like, you want to open up when it comes about this closed door. You want to at least explore it, I feel like. Let's see with you. Eight of Wands. No movement, no swiftness, no change, no nothing. Nothing's changing. Princess of Swords reversed. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in the Wants and Wishes. Wanting to spy and smear someone's reputation. It's kind of harsh. Um, what you fear and reject right now is the Two of Swords. Trying to come to some sort of decision. The situation, we have temperance reversed. Things not coming together, or two people not coming together, or just morality just out of whack, you know. One of them, right? Seven of Swords in the challenge and obstacles coming against you. I feel like letting your skeletons out of the closet and probably maybe apologizing for being a snake. It's just first thing that comes to mind with this. Doesn't have to be you, could be the person you're dealing with, but that's like what I'm getting from this. However, someone is keeping an eye out for spies and stuff, so you too might be a creepy McCreeperson from Creep Street. Just, just telling you honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. King of Pentacles, upright, provider, um, endorser, stabilizer, the person in, while not really in charge as much as they are making sure everything's set up. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Princess of Wands. 
someone traveling, someone delivering good news. A um, bit of impulse, but that impulse is based on a good intuition and good judgment. Um, not really saying mean stuff. Not really being secretive about their things either. Um... For you, groups, there's no reason to change things because there's nothing to obtain from it. There's no victories to obtain with changing, I feel like. Like, the worst, if things change, people will just start coming against you and you, and you just don't want that shit. It's just going to attract people who you don't want around you, I feel like. And that that's why I don't think you want to change or try to gain a victory because it's just going to bring around people you really don't want. Um... <sighs> wow, okay. Um, temperance reverse. This is like the two people trying to join together, but it didn't happen. Um, it didn't bring about like a uh, megazord person where two people become one. Uh, no, Dragon Ball Fusion. Like that fusion technique or whatever? That's what it's like. It's like two people trying to do the fusion dance or some shit or the fusion earrings. I can't remember. Um, but that makes you happy. That's the situation. The sun could be Leo. And this is also Sagittarius down here too, but it's... It's like two people not coming together makes the two people happier. Weird. But, okay. Mm. Now, this Princess of Swords. They, this person might just be like... You know really really damaged you know hurt people hurt people and i feel like this person has been like so hurt that all they're used to is like hiding themselves from the world and now they're just hiding themselves and probably going about doing nasty spy things as well that's like the wants and wish for you or maybe you're hoping this person who is going out doing underhanded things is going to like end up with karma, possibly. Like, you want them to go hide somewhere and never see the light of day again because they're probably mean and shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, your obstacles and challenges in this um, group, too. You, I feel like you want someone to just come out and say, you know, exactly what this is. I don't think you're the creeping the creep or something. I think, like, you're dealing with one, though, because it, it's kind of like... No, I'm not changing anything. I'm not happy with this kind of setup right here. I think we're both happier if we're not together. <laughs> you know? Like, it's like you guys can't agree with, like, what would make you happy with this relationship. And I think you just want someone to just expose themselves. Well, not even expose themselves. Just open up and actually tell the truth about things. But unfortunately, you're just throwing that cup over the ledge. Like, it, you know what? This isn't even worth it anymore. This is not worth it. This is like... Mmm... You gotta go somewhere with your shit. Like, you know. Two of Swords. There's a fear in making your decision. Or there's a rejection of a decision, right? Ew. Came with a book. Slightly. Um, I feel like waste, there's time wasted with trying to um, scold someone proper-like for them knocking over your cups. You feel like that's a waste of time? I feel like these sleeves are just attacking my cards as well very aggressively but yeah it feels like it's a waste of time it feels like you're just like damaging yourself trying to um get a point across to someone i feel like a little bit group two um but it's like you're afraid of making a choice because there's a wish fulfillment involved in this. Like, you're going to make a choice, group two. But it, it, it's going to be based on some sort of wish fulfillment here that's going to come true. So I'm going to tell you to be careful what you wish for. But it's like, it, 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 there, it, I don't think there's any baggage involved with the wish right here, as far as I can tell. So it, it's a pure wish. It's a good wish. You're just afraid that the choice will be the catalyst for the wish. Which is weird, because, like, you got the King of Pentacles right here. And he's, like, the senior highest court card, like, 
You want to be that guy, but it's like, you're afraid of what your choices will lead you to. Which is like, why are you afraid of what you're going to pick? You're obviously going to make out pretty good, man. It's like you're trying to choose what you really want. And you just aren't sure yet. Yeah, um, King of Pentacles. All set up, all whatever, but very, 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 very anxious. Very much in this um, mentality where they feel like they can't sleep at night because they have too much on their brain. Like, very successful. But it's like this worry or this panic that keeps them up at night. Oh. Yeah, they're trying to work out all the kinks in the heartbreak a little bit, I think. Group two. Ending theme is Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. She's actually the counterpart of um, the King of Pentacles. But they could be the same person. But I feel like this queen... People don't appreciate her. So she's just like, fuck it. I might just go on an adventure. So you could be dealing with an earth sign in this. Who's about to take action. Or you just could be somebody emulating those energies. Three advice cards, please. Yeah, when it comes to not changing anything and things being separated and such, it's like, yeah, I'd just rather just find something new. That's what someone feels like right here. I'd rather just go start something new. I mean, they could be looking at the past before deciding to go forward. I could have swore this card faced the other way, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> It's like, you know, yeah. Yeah, this person is like just running from whatever cup was there to a new adventure. Taking a leap of faith, right? Ending all the bickering and arguments and getting out of that chisnit, right? You know, getting away from all the problems from the past that was behind them. That's actually not a bad one, group two. So that's the end of your reading. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I don't normally charge for my readings, but I take tips and donations through PayPal. And I will see you guys next week when I do Shadows of Judgment spread. Probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to try Monday. But it'll probably be like Wednesday, knowing how I am. So, you know. See you guys later. You take it easy. Bye.